Hello everyone, it's Monica here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with this step-by-step -step tutorial how to put this uh, sensational stars uh, um, dice. It comes from Kaleidoscope Origami Dice Collection by Crafters Companion. I had a few comments saying that uh, you would like to see how to put them together. There were a few people saying on Facebook that they do struggle, but I think it's quite easy, but let me show you how to do it. Uh, there are some instructions as well in every die set so you can follow them. So let me put this one. So uh, let me do the small one. As you can see, I cut that one. For the first time, I'm going to use a glitter card. This one comes from this Winter White uh, Luxury Mix Card Pack and it's 250 GSM and it's a glitter card so it's going to be a bit harder to work with but i hope i can do it so you need a scoreboard and you need um a score tool so what i do i've got um, a line in the middle of my scoreboard which helps me to align everything so i'm doing that let me just score it and <clears throat> On this glitter card, you can't really see the score lines, but I know roughly where to put them. And because I've done it all, uh, already, so I know uh, how to align it. So basically, you need to let me uh, let me score it first, and I'm going to show you. <clears throat> And you need to make sure that you score it really hard because this one, especially with the glitter card, I think it's not that easy to uh, to fold it and to burnish it. So, and now you can let me show, get up and show you how it looks like. You see, this score line on the right is just by the by the corners. So you align the corners and then scroll. And then that one, it's kind of from <clears throat> this section, from that to the bottom. So you have to find your own way. And then I'm going to, you always keep the pretty side up, as you can see on this one as well. So if you've got single-sided, it's very easy uh, to spot. If you've got double-sided paper, you just look uh, which one looks nicer. And then you fold and burnish <coughs> every single score line. And then we'll start to put this star together. Uh, I will do both stars and at the end I will show you how I put one card together because as you can see I've got this one and I've got some elements prepared so I hope it's going to be a quick uh, tutorial so let me uh, actually score this one as well so I've got this one ready on this one this one is actually thinner paper so this one was 250 GSM glitter card this one comes from this set and it says 230 GSM uh, so and I tried for it 300 and it's really difficult because it's so hard especially with some of the dice it's actually so hard to <coughs> fold it so with this one again uh, you've got the center point here and you score it from the bottom to this section and then you do exactly the same on the second uh, score line on this side you can barely see the score lines over here done by the uh, cutting die. So I'm doing the second one. I'm aligning this point at the bottom with the one on the top and just burnish and um, scoring that one. And the same, I'm just turning it around because those two score lines, they need to meet in the center. Yeah. So it is quite important to do the proper score lines so then everything will work together nicely once you start to put it together. So let me just uh, burnish those. Yes, and you can see 
but it looks really nice already so let me do the glitter one first so i've got some wooden pegs i need a glue i'm going to use this one and let's do it because you can do do it with a double-sided tape if you want but uh, what i do i prefer to use liquid glue especially when i know that something is quite fiddly and that's what i do i just put one peg here which is going to hold this one together i can put another one for a few seconds here and i'm keeping this aside and then i'm putting another two together you don't need a lot of glue and the same with this one got two different sizes of those wooden pegs I couldn't find more of those small ones so <clears throat> and another two I really love working with liquid glue because I always think that it's still I still have got the time to maneuver everything and uh, with the double-sided tape i do struggle sometimes because i feel like oh no it's just too late it's adhered and um i cannot actually and then i sometimes i actually rip the paper and i have to start 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 over um which <sighs> don't really like wasting paper some people they say it's only paper but uh, i just don't like wasting things anyway so these are done now i'm going to remove those pegs and i'm going to add those two of course you have to push it down and then we're going to maneuver everything once everything will be adhered so that's uh, i'm now adhering uh, those two into another set of twos And again I'm grabbing them with my pegs if you don't have pegs just hold it together and that should be fine especially if you've got good quality glue that shouldn't uh, um, shouldn't be a problem for you you can see that everything goes up and it's uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be flat but it will eventually you just have to trust the process sometimes just carry on so I'm just wondering if you got those dies and I you had a look at them and you feel like uh, they're a bit too difficult so let me know if you bought them and you feel that you couldn't actually do them I'm really curious who actually did uh, some of the project with them and if you've got social media you can send me a link I'm really would love to see your projects uh, if you've got YouTube channel as well or any social media that would be nice to see I do go on a crafters companion page and check uh, lots of posts and try to comment but <clears throat> There are so many of them so as you can see i am releasing some of those pegs because my glue is really strong and i feel like that's long enough <clears throat> and you see i didn't glue this part yet but you can see that my star uh, uh, lies flat and uh, that's the <coughs> apologies my throat is still a bit uh, yeah so yes that's the last bit I need to add here and I really love working with those pegs I do have a lot of them different sizes uh, on above my desk just to help me with putting projects together so that's this one I'm going to push it down a little bit and uh, now I'm going to start putting this one together and then I will speed this part up a little bit 
so you don't have to waste time looking at me and uh, what I'm doing. So as you can see, this one is done as well. I can remove those specks because everything is dry. I know that it looks like it's going up, but when you adhere it, it will go completely flat. And then you can color the top if you want, uh, or you can leave it as it is. And for coloring uh, the top folds, those bits and pieces, you can use uh, glitter glue, you can use sparkle pens. I used alcohol. Uh, markers I used um, acrylic paint or maybe you've got double-sided paper so you don't have to do anything you can actually before you put it together you can e ink that part so there are so many different ways you can use or you can add some glue on the top parts and you can sprinkle with um, colored glitter so it's all up to you i think you've got so many different options you can use on that so let me put that card together i use a top fold card that's what i use and i've got the glitter card the same as the star so let me put this one together i really need to remember about sentiment i've got a stamp ready on the side so sometimes i forget about things which i want to add to my card when i'm recording but hopefully this time it's going to be easy <laughs> so let me know if this tutorial was helpful and uh, what do you think about this die set i'm planning to do another video with this delicate toilets um so let me know if you want to see this one as well uh, because I thought um, maybe it's actually nice to do something different <coughs> and for that one I will try to do actually fancy fold cards if I will have enough time to do that but if you're only interested to see how to fold it then uh, let me know as well so I think for this panel I will use a uh, double sided 3d foam just to raise it a little bit and it would be nice to have one christmas card ready so are you already making any christmas cards oh not yet let me just see if the sentiment will be i might actually do this one because I need to see if I've got enough space. Yes, I should be fine. <clears throat> so let me use my <clears throat> mat to see where I need to put that panel. So, and then this one and sentiment. Okay. Uh, let me put it here. <coughs> I'm sorry. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my uh, stamping platform now and let me stamp this one. Uh, let me actually maybe unfold this. And I'm going to use this sentiment from the Reindeer Collection. This one is Holiday Season stamp set and i will use this one may your holiday sparkle with joy and happiness i think that's nice let me double check with this panel again because i don't want to make any mistakes make it straight <clears throat> i think that's fine let's check if it's straight it's for some reason it's not mm. 
I'm trying to use the grid on my stamping platform, but because I've got another grid um, on my mat, it just kind of... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I can do that. <clears throat> and I'm using black ink. As always, I will try to I will try to link all the uh, products below the video so you can check it out. And uh, let me just add here this panel. And then I need to think if I want to add some color into those small sections on my uh, on my star. I really like this card already. <clears throat> so let's see. Yeah, I like it. And I was thinking to use this um sparkle pen in a moonstone, but let me adhere it. Oh, I was actually thinking about this glitter. So let me do a test, actually, just need, I did a test here and I think it will look good. So let me add here the star. <clears throat> so you just add glue in the sections. That's what I do over here. And yeah, I think I'm going to do it this way. Then hold it for a while so those sections will adhere to your card. And what I usually do, I put something heavy on top of it. Let me see what can I use right now. I had my, <clears throat> yeah, I will use my butterfly. And then I will show you how to, you can use to color. For example, I use exactly the same uh, uh, glitter pen for this card. And you can see that it's so easy. Once you put it together, you can just go for, for it. You can color it the way you like it. And you can use whatever you want to do that. You can actually color it before you put the star together. And you can color, you don't have to color the top bit, you can color the bottom bit. But for that, you will need to do it before you start to put it together. And as you can see, that color turns the yellow card into this kind of uh, ocean green color, which I really like. And this is uh, what I use on my sample. So I will link that video at the end of this one. Um, the video where I showed all the samples I did for Crafters Companion with that dyke uh, collection. So you can check it out and see other uh, ideas, what to do and um, what kind of cards you can create. I did a box as well. I did a box using that embossing folder. Let me see if I've got it handy so I can show you which embossing folder is it. <clears throat> I had it somewhere. Maybe I just put it away already, but it's from uh, Watercolor Christmas, the same as the paper, it's from Watercolor Christmas, old collection from Crafters Companion as well, so I need to press to release more liquid, but I don't want to do it over this project because it might drip a little bit, yeah, I think that looks good. And now I'm sure this one is already adhered, so see, let's see. Oh no, it's still <coughs> a little bit. 
some what I will do I uh, might actually try to use a uh, hot glue for that because and what you can do you can also add something inside like a jam you can uh, embellish it uh, to your likings as well so it doesn't have to be plain <clears throat> okay, I'm trying to push that but what I'm going to do yeah I think it's good oh well and the same <clears throat> sparkle pen Oh, it's quite a lot just don't want it to drip over my project see you sh I should have done it beforehand but uh, just wanted to show you that you can actually change that color if you've got single-sided card you can add another color so I'm holding that side just to make sure that it will be adhered properly so oh, I like those dice and I think they're really pretty and I was thinking to do maybe I will do with that one like a hanging ornament for my Christmas tree you could do that you can actually um, create another one and add it to the back of this one so you can create even more 3d look I like the way this spark open once it dries it will be slightly lighter and you will be able to see the um, glitter more yeah, I like it I like it because it gives this frosty look yes yeah I think it's beautiful so I finished the card and as I said this sparkle pen will look lighter and it does and I really love that shimmer it gives so I'm it goes really well with that glitter card as well and I was thinking to add some um, gems or pearls but I found this enamel dot from this um, the set uh, 12 days of Christmas by uh, Dovecraft and I think it works really well with those leaves from that pattern paper. So this is my finished card. I hope you like this tutorial. I hope you find it useful. So let me know what do you think about this die set, about this um, Kaleidoscope uh, collection by Crafters Companion. And yeah, I'm looking forward to read all your comments. If you're new to my YouTube channel, do consider subscribing to my channel because you might find something really nice on it. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching uh, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.